Okay. We saw constitution of group frequency distribution and exclusive method in the previous video. If you have gone through it, obviously. Now we will see preparation of a group frequency distribution under inclusive method. The data is more or less the same, but still, for the sake of the fact that some of you might not have gone through the earlier question, let us go through the question. The monthly earnings of various employee in a company in 1000 RS under. Prepare a grouped frequency distribution under inclusive method using a class size of 10. Okay, so the first thing we do is find out the range. Range is what? Range is nothing but out of this frequency distribution we just find out the difference between the highest and the lowest number. So 70 is the lowest number then is there any number less than 70 that we can see out here? Well, we don't. So we know that 70 is the smallest number which is there. What about the maximum number? Well, it has to be in hundreds. 110, 132, 142 is this the one? No, 145 is greater then 162 is even bigger, 167. So the highest number is 167. 167 minus 70 gives you 97. Right? So the range is 97. The class size is 10. So the number of classes, of course, that has to be formed is equal to 97 divided by 10 or 9.7. So let's say 10 classes. Right? The only th thing is it has to be under the inclusive method. So let me clear up all these as we get into this. So the first thing that we form is income in thousands. Because the lowest number is 70, so we start with 70 and the class size is 10, so 70 to 80. Is this correct? Is this correct? The answer is no. Why? Because we are working on the inclusive method. In inclusive method, what happens is the last number is included. If you write 70 to 80, in that case 80 basically goes to the next one. So the last number which is included here is not 80, it is 79. So in an inclusive method, you just write 79. Then the next one is 80 to 89. 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 classes you've made, 150, 1, 60, 92, 99, 109, 119, 129. So what I did was, given that the class size was 10, I simply added 10 to the last one to get this. I simply added 10 to the first one to get this. Right? Let's draw the tallies. and then the frequency. Now since these are inclusive method, so last number if it comes has to come in this particular case. So 70, right? 74, 82 will fall in this bracket, 90 goes to the next one, 110 well, there is no confusion out here. 132, 142, 123, yeah. 116, 123. So the chances of confusion are very less. 145. Wherever you find the number, just plug it in there. There's no question or even second thinking of 167. Where should it go? It's pretty clear. 
right? Just write down the frequencies 2, 1, 1, 0, 2, 2, 1, 2, 0, and 4. So in the inclusive method, what I did was that I just took the last number instead of adding 10, which is the class size to the starting number, I reduced one because if I would have written 10 or added 10 to this, the last number would have to be excluded. So in an inclusive method, because I have to include the last number as well, we put this one less than 